Alrighty guys, PES 2017, thanks to Konami UK, we were invited to play PES 2017 at Konami UK office for the second time. Now here's my impression, this is actually my capture. I was at the office, I played it myself against Spike, and these are the th key features that I want to talk about, uh, starting from long balls, referee, slide tackling, passing, game speed, dribbling, interception, set pieces, headers, and of course the overall rating... Um, my impression regarding the demo. Now, mind you, this is PES 2017 offline. Uh, don't you don't need to ask any question regarding my club because it's a completely different gameplay. So let's talk about the reason why I'm going to be mentioning PES 16 compared to 17, so you would know what I'm talking about and the difference. Now, when it comes to long ball, these are one of the things that I get asked aloud, ask about a lot. Please test the long balls, etc., etc. I can guarantee you guys there are three things that I can mention that will make you understand why long balls are not overpowered on PES 2017. First of all, the game speed is ever slower in a good way. Second, uh, defenders had their response. Even though we tried pass support 1, 2 and 3, still wasn't that easy. But let's be honest guys, long balls are part of the football. If you, if you try to do a clean counter long balls, yes, it works every now and then, but it's not like sit back and send long balls for 90 minutes. Second of all, I want to talk about the referees and slide tackling. Believe me guys, when I played against Spike and many other PES uh, UK community members, I said spam me with long balls, spam me with tackling, you know, so we test all these, all these out. Uh, when it comes to the referees are definitely more strict. They know where to, when to give you an advantage. They know when to book and they know what a foul is uh, instead of Unlike PES 2016 online, you know, you can go double double leg on a chest and we, you still won't get a foul. So the referees has definitely has better response in terms of uh, when to go, when to give an advantages and when to book a player and when to, um, you know, have better response regarding fouling no matter where any of pitch you are. And I love the fact that when it comes to advantages, like you can be, you could be countering and you get fouled and the referee does know where the moments of advantage is. Unlike in PES 2016, sometimes it's shambolic. When it comes to passing, guys, um, again, we have pass support 1, 2, 3. I've tried all three of them. Passing out much, much, much more smoother. And again, we have a lot of advanced, uh, new feature advanced, advanced instructions. Every club has their club ID. For example, with Barcelona, not every player is like Perlo. So even though we tried passes 2 and 3, the passing out much smoother. If you align yourself properly, you know, it's the, the pass is more accurate. We tried quick passing as well. I mean, let's be honest, you will see in this game I scored the goal with Luis Suarez, a combination uh, between Iniesta, Messi, Suarez and Neymar, a quick passing. That worked because, first of all, it's not because the passing OP. The passing is not that OP com compared to PS16. It's the fact that I was using Tiki Taka, uh, Tiki Taka advanced tactic, advanced instructions, and that makes players stay close to each other. And I was only using pass support one. Now, of course, you're probably saying, well, if I use pass support, higher that would be even easier wrong unless you do manual passing basically now that's my review based on PES 2017 obviously um offline this is the latest version that i've played i don't know how online is going to be i don't think it's going to be a massive difference but i want to leave my club out of it because there's a lot of factors regarding my club i don't want to get into it uh the fourth point i want to go into is the game speed okay one sentence the game speed is slower for the bear not too boring unlike like fifa it's slower, therefore, it will allow you, it will push you to actually play some build up rather than like a tennis, just long ball and run and shoot. When it comes to goalkeepers, goalkeepers are actually like doing, pulling off double save, triple saves in certain points. And they do position themselves better. We tried R2 shots a lot. There are certain players in the community that I played against or I've seen them play. They do use R2 shot in general a lot. Even when you try Arthur Show with Neymar and Messi, um, the goalkeepers seem to uh, position themselves much, much better. Uh, now we all know a lot of people criticize goalkeepers and PES, but on PES 2017, you could feel the massive difference. You cannot judge PES 2017 just by looking at it. Obviously, graphically it looks amazing. I mean, player detail, player faces, but we're talking about gameplay here. Sec uh, the sixth point I want to go into is the dribbling. The dribbling guys, it's really effective. Like if you try to execute a skill with Neymar, you can feel the difference between Neymar, Neymar and a slow player. Like when you execute a skill with Neymar, he has high dribbling, it's pretty obvious. You can actually do a skill with Neymar and send the defender for a hot dog. 
Unlike on PES 2016, sometimes with even high rated players, when you try to do certain things, it's a bit slows down. As you can see, I'm trying to do certain skills with Neymar here as well. It does work like a treat. And uh, when it comes to skills and fame on, on PES in general, it's more realistic. I mean, it's, it's not like FIFA, you do 20 skills in 20 seconds from kickoff. That's not realistic. Um, when it comes to dribbling in general, I was happy with it. Whether you do a jinker run, whether you do full stop, a lot of people, what they do a lot of people is that they, they kept pressing the sprint button. However, Neymar's, Neymar's player ID dribbling is absolutely sick. Full speed dribbling with Neymar, you can't do that with any other players. It's like simple turns on full speed. That's how Messi dribbles in real life. He doesn't really do much skills. The only skill Messi has is when he's stationary, he do like a step over or a little shoulder feint. But oh man, the, the dribbling is amazing with Messi. And in general, dribbling, I was happy with it, guys. I mean, as you can see in these gameplays, there isn't really much goals because we, I mean, football is all about goals and celebration. We wouldn't hold them back. We were trying to play. We were trying to score. But it was just so entertaining to watch others play and I was so enjoying it just trying different things from dribbling to passing to crossing next point I want to into is set pieces um, when it comes to free kicks even I spoke that with Lily and some other um, gamers down there it's not really just aim and shoot like PES 2016 but again it depends who's the set piece taker and who's the goalkeeper and how you defend set pieces so when it comes to free kicks it's still not like you don't need to be a genius to score a free kick a player from a player varies, you know, with their free kick accuracy, swerve, etc. But I would say it's a little bit different. Like, we try to aim and shoot same way we do with PS16 and it went wide or it went high. So there has to be, in the final uh, version of the game, it has to be something. Obviously, this is a demo of the final version, I'm assuming. Uh, when it comes to corner kicks, the defenders has better response to defend headers and to mark players. Again, this comes down to what team you are using. And of course, the new feature, advanced instructions. Um, you have Gagan Press, you have Swarm the Box. So these are a lot of other things, you know, um, which kind of produce a factor of how you defend uh, in general. You know, we all play different. Every, every team responds differently to crossing, to shooting, to defending in general. I don't want to get into it deep. This is just a quick review going through all these points. When it comes to headers, um, there are like certain players just like their signature like I remember I played I used uh, I, I played against Germany Miller scored two headers two goals with a header but that was in a counter if you know what I mean like it wasn't just cross and hope and Miller bang gets it in I did defend certain headers against Miller because I was trying to use super cancel and get in front of him so it did work now my overall rating for PS 2017 the offline mode obviously I played is 9 out of 10 I'm only holding one point back because I still not a fan of pass support 2 and 3. But 9 out of 10, I am happy with it based on the offline uh, gameplay that I played. I will have more gameplay videos. Stay tuned, subscribe. I'll be set. Till next time. Ciao for now.